Right, welcome in guys to Transit in Ether. Now, in terms of, you know, uh, you know, a remake, we're gonna be playing Transit in Ether, guys. We're gonna be seeing what this map is all about. Was able to, uh, you know, pay for a membership to play the open, uh, I guess the early access of this map and give it a try. A map that's made from Green Run Productions. I mean, starting off right now, you literally start off near the power area, which is insane in my opinion. <laughs> I've seen a couple of videos of this guys of people trying this map out and spawning in this area and I would have thought, oh my god, this is crazy. This is very cool. I like the fluorescent purple and green around the map. This is really interesting. But um, I think guys, I don't know if this is going to show us the whole of transit or if this is going to show us uh, just a small summary of what the map is about. Oh, okay. So you've actually got a teleporter so you can actually teleport to different areas. Screw it. Yeah, let's teleport. Oh my god, here we go. Right, we've just spawned in into the main starting room. Now, this is what I've seen mainly off of, like, other videos and stuff. This is very cool, man. I don't... <laughs> this is insane, bro. I've just... I've just... I've, I think none of us have really seen a transit like this before. But I really wonder what it's going to be like. What kind of weapons do you have? You have the M14. That's cool as well. We can actually build a part as well. Let's see. Can we open up this door? Okay, nice. Right, we can open up from here. I just instantly... Oh, my God. This actually kind of shocked me a little bit. This is really cool, dude. What the hell? I don't I don't know if you guys would relate, but it's a little bit smaller than normal transit. But to be honest, this is very cool, man. You can see jellyfish just floating above. You've got the building behind us. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's a doorway over there. You've got a barrier over here. This kind of reminds me a bit, guys, of Vey Victus, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know, just the vibe of it and stuff. Vey Victus was a little bit blue. To, to give a cool mention as well, guys, I think, I could be wrong, but I guess when I became a member for the Green Run Productions, like paying to be able to play the map, I'm pretty sure they had two versions of this map uh, that they're giving out. So they're giving out this version, and then they're going to be giving out the just the standard transit version. Remastered, but it's not ether, if you know what I mean. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, I believe that's what I read. So yeah, let's open up this door around here. Okay, nice, we've got speed color back over as well. Oh, okay, right, we've just heard the bus near us. I wonder if we can actually go over to the bus. Let's see. So, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So we can actually open up more doors around there. Don't need to keep saying it, but this map honestly looks really good. Now, I wonder, can we go through here? Oh, okay. So we can't open up this door around here, but we're, hey, we've got dead shot. That's a W right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got dead shot. We've got the AK-47. I think Mob of the Dead is the only map that has the AK-47, dude. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. That guy just came out right out of nowhere. Right, hopefully we don't go down on it. You know what? On Cold War, always used to find this boss quite difficult. Hopefully this guy isn't the same. Oh, okay. He's actually not too bad. You know what? Okay, that's not bad at all, dude. I thought it was going to be like the actual Cold War version where it's a pain to kill him. Nice. We just got a fire cell as well. Oh, okay. Right, we've just got this guy coming in now. Okay, I think we're actually starting to get bosses that are actually starting to come after us, which is definitely a challenge. Let's have a look. Let's turn the Power on. Oh my god. Okay, right. We just got killed by a scorpion, dude. No way. We need to get out of here, dude. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no way. Let's give it another try. If we leave one or two zombies around, then we could probably have a chance to just try and defeat this bot. Okay, right. Let's see. Oh, wait. Does he not spawn in? Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Let's get the Panker Punch. I'm guessing that just might have been, you know, one of the main normal round bosses that spawn in. Let's get the power on and bam. Oh my god, what the hell? Press to begin Denizen Challenge. Costs 5,000 points. I would love to build pack -a before anything really. Because I mean, hey, who would not want to get Pac-Man? I don't know what this door does. Screw it. Let's get our curiosity up. Okay, we've just teleported somewhere. What the hell? Oh my god, no way, dude. We're actually in the diner area now. Just take that in, man. That is awesome. I mean, again, you've got the jellyfish floating around. It's literally like they victors, but diner, you know? <laughs> let's, let's pop in here, man. Let's go in here. Always loved the area of Diner. I just thought it was such a cool place, dude, you know, there. But you do have double tap, though, which is a benefit. Oh, okay, so guys, I've literally just went through the back around here, and um, I've just seen you can actually go. Oh, I probably spoke a bit too soon. Oh, okay, okay. So I believe that's an out-of-bounds area, if I'm correct, but it, okay. I guess the bus is coming down now. So what you just seen, though, that was a bit like a, it seemed like an out-of-bounds area. You know, you get uh, teleported back in. Can we go in the bus? 
Oh my god. There we go, Ted's just driving the bus and stuff. Oh man, the bus is much more wider than the BO2 version, in my opinion, which is definitely a benefit. I, I don't know if you guys would relate, but in the um, in normal transit, the bus would just sometimes be way too tight, dude. Like, it will be an issue, you know? That's very cool, though, dude. you got the bus coming in. I guess you've got the Shadows of Evil teleporter. Oh, 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 my God. Okay, right, we want to be careful of this guy. I think that's a, an original boss, you know, a boss that, you, that we've never really seen before. Oh, where's he spawned in now? Oh, he's came from the ground. There we go. We've just got stamina up, guys. But yeah, from what I'd seen on Twitter, the original version is just like the ether version, but obviously the ether is taken out and it has a more apocalyptic look to it, which is very cool looking, very nice looking. Looks more um, rusty, if you know what I mean. More, more the color of brown and stuff, which gives that kind of apocalyptic kind of look. Now, you see that round there? I thought that would have been on top of the bus. Now, that doesn't make any sense to me. That's hovering. Is that saying that we probably need to, I don't know, get the bus to come back and stuff? Let me see. Have we got any of the parts? I don't, I don't think we've got any parts. You know what? I presume. Can we actually go through here like this? Oh, okay. Right. That's understandable now. Okay, nice. Right, guys. We've built up the Pack-A-Punch machine, which is pretty cool. And we've got this teleporter waiting for us. Now, let's have a look. So, we've just linked to the teleporter, it says. So, as we do see back down here, I think, we've got these panels that we need to... Yeah, there we go. Link core. We go back. Oh, okay. Teleport cost 1,000, right? Let's have a quick look. We're teleporting somewhere. Oh my god, okay. So you actually spawn on the roof this time. No way, dude. Oh, okay, so it, so it only stay, keeps you there for a short time. And we're actually back in the starting area from where you start in, beginning. Okay, nice. No, so we don't open a door there. I don't know what's going on there, but we've just... Oh, okay. Nice. We've just spawned back in to the main depot area, guys. This is so sick. If we could try and showcase one of the Wonder Weapons, guys, that would be really cool. Oh, nail gun? I actually thought it was the, the ray gun. That just blue balls me proper hard right there. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I guess just to let time pass and stuff, just to give you guys more information, I don't know when they're going to be releasing this map, the full version of this map. Um, from what it seems, in terms of transit as a whole, the Dark Ether transit, this map looks, in my opinion anyway, pretty complete. I don't know if they've got other things that they need to uh, fix, you know, work on. Actually, one thing to note out, when I was trying to, you know, be able to ask for the map, because obviously if you join the membership, they let you play the map, but they did note, you know, um, they are going through some fixes, they're doing updates weekly on this map. If you guys ever do have any interruptions when playing this map, you guys do end up, you know, becoming a member. Um, it's quite common, you know? We're leaving that on the side, though. We've just gotten the rocket gun and atomizer. Now, this is the gun that I'm talking about, guys. This is the ray gun that I'm talking about. I don't even know if you can call it a ray gun, but... Oh, okay. Left side, you've got black ray gun blast. Oh, okay. We, we, we want to be a little bit careful here. We, yeah, we want to be a little bit careful. That scorpion does not take no crap off anyone, nor any ray gun. Although this ray gun is absolutely just... Oh, look at this thing. This thing literally blasts them, dude. I mean, what the hell? I don't, I don't know if we're doing anything. Okay, there we go. We're actually doing something right now. I think we can teleport back, you know? I don't really feel the need to just uh, chill out. I think we can actually explore more areas, see what other places are like. Let's head back to the diner area, I think, guys. Let's see what that place is all about. Just to say, though, we've got the main guy coming in. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 right, okay. Let's go in. Where are we going? No way. Okay, as we thought we just ended, guys, we have just landed into town, I think. Is this town? Yeah, this is, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, so you can't go in the bar area, but you've got all around here. Let's have a quick look at this. Oh, dude, thank God you don't have to get affected by the lava. It's good that we actually picked up the, the ladder part at the beginning. Definitely a benefit right there. I can hear some electricity around. Oh, okay, so that's the teleporter right there. So that's probably going to bring us back. We probably don't really want to go back at the moment. I'm guessing anyway, some areas are just still being built. I mean, you know, but I mean, nevertheless, I mean, you could just tell how much effort these guys have put into a map like this. Dude. It is crazy, man. Crazy. So that is a showcase of the early release of Transit in Ether, guys. 
Hopefully, you found this really cool, as showing you what the map is like, what kind of things that they brought in, and I think most importantly, the atmosphere of this map. I mean, the atmosphere just hits a 10 out of 10, in my opinion, you know? And plus the ray guns, dude, I'm not gonna lie, they are sick. I can't wait until this is out for everyone to play. Like I said again in the before video, guys, if you guys do wanna check out the link to get a membership to be able to play this map, we'll have it in the description. If you did enjoy the video as well, it'd be much appreciated to hit that like and subscribe. But other than that, have an amazing day over there, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.